This is E-Device week 4, 2006. I'll be covering question 3 as well as question 4. In this question 3 here, we are supposed to fill up uh, this table uh, either with forward bias or reverse bias in the blanks provided. Okay, so to answer this question here, we have to uh, draw first of all the schematic symbol of uh, transistor. So the transistor consists of three terminals, namely the base, collector, as well as emitter. So what does it mean by base emitter junction? It means that within base to emitter, this base to emitter here, this is called BE junction, or base emitter junction for short. And in this junction here, there's actually a diode in this orientation. Okay. And then for base collector junction, right, it refers to the base and this collector here. So this is base collector junction or BC junction for short. Again, there's also another diode which is also in this orientation here. Okay, so what does it mean uh, for base emitter as well as base collector junction? If the region, operating region, is actually in active region. So it just means that uh, in active region, the base emitter junction has to be forward bias while the base collector junction is reverse bias. And in cutoff region, the BE as well as the BC junction are both reverse bias. For saturation region, uh, this is actually the opposite of cutoff region, whereby the base emitter junction and the uh, base collector junction are both forward bias. Okay. So for easy remembrance or uh, to remember this, uh, we just have to remember that for saturation region, right, both the BE as well as BC junction are forward bias. For cutoff region, the base emitter as well as base collector junctions are both reverse bias. And for active region, the base emitter junction must be forward bias, while the base collector junction is reverse bias. So this is for question 3. I will go on to question 4 next. For question 4, uh, we are given an NPN transistor with a base voltage of 2 volts, collector voltage of 2.3 volts, and emitter voltage of 1.3 volts. And we are to determine the operating region of this transistor here. So to start with again, we have to draw the schematic symbol of a transistor. What it means to say uh, is that the voltage at the base side, so this is base here, so VB with respect to ground is 2 volts. And then the voltage at the collector side, which is VC with respect to ground, sorry, VC refers to this point here at the collector. VC is 2.3 volts. And then VE, uh, which is the emitter voltage at the uh, emitter side, so this is VE here, is 1.3 volts. Now, we have just learned in question 3 about the VE as well as VC junctions, uh, so we will actually calculate what is uh, corresponding values of VBE as well as VBC. This is VBE, okay, and here this is VBC. Okay, so within the VE junction, I have uh, said before that there is actually a diode in this orientation, and within the BC junction, there's also another diode which is also in this orientation here. So let's start to calculate for VBE first. VB is just the voltage difference between two points which is at point B, so we need to have the uh, voltage at point B uh, minus with the voltage at point E, which is the emitter, VE. Okay, so through this, we just have to substitute the values for voltage at point B as well as voltage for point E, which is 2 volts minus 1.3 volts. 
and the difference will give us 0 0.7 volts. Now, if you apply this 0 0.7 volts across the BE junction, right, where there is actually a diode, okay, so the diode will then become forward bias. Okay, so that means B junction is actually forward bias. Next, we go on to VBC. Okay, so to calculate the voltage value for VBC here, it's just the difference between the voltage at point B, right, which is VB, with uh, minus of this uh, voltage at point C, the collector. Okay, so this will give us 2 volts minus 2.3 volts. And the result will be negative 0.3 volts. So if you apply negative 0.3 volts to this diode here at BC junction, right? So the diode will actually be reverse bias. Okay, so um, since BE junction is forward bias and BC junction is reverse bias okay from the table that we did just now in question three right we can uh, determine that the transistor is actually in the active region and that's for question four